Hi Scorpio, this is Dee and I hope you're doing well. Welcome and so welcome back to my channel. This is a general reading which comes to you from the Mystic Monday Tarot and from the daily guidance from your angels oracle cards, which may or may not resonate with you. If it does, great. If it doesn't, just let it pass. In other words, take what resonates with you and leave the rest. God Most High Angel Spirit, guys, beings of love and light, the Holy Spirit, what is the divine guidance and encouragement? For Scorpio, that's for their well-being and the highest form of love and light. Thank you, God Most High. So, Scorpio, you have the Ace of Cups, which is expressing that there is an opportunity for a new love connection for you. Not only just a new love connection for you, but for some of you, a new creative idea that has you emotionally charged. So for those of you who are interested in a love connection, it is in your current future, right? It is upcoming for you if it hasn't already happened. But yes, you have the pleasure and the opportunity to have a newfound connection, a new love connection. It could be a friend. It could be a friendship developing, a new friendship developing, and or a new romantic relationship developing if that's what you're interested in. But this is beautiful. It's like a divine connection that you experience. And for those of you who are like, D, I am not interested in a new friendship or a new romantic relationship. Well, for you, it's a new creative idea that really has your heart on fire, that has you feeling excited, that has you feeling joyful and energetic. And so with that, you're being encouraged to take action and execute on that new creative idea that's really got you feeling excited all right but nevertheless in both situations it's beautiful and i'm excited for both all right but this is a new beginning a new fresh start that's awesome Oh, yeah, because there is something that's ending. We've got the Ten of Swords. So there is a dramatic, drastic ending to something. And it could be a relationship, a thought pattern, a practice, or a tradition that no longer serves you. But it's coming to an end. It could be the ending of a difficult time as well. It's coming to an end, which is great because you have this new beginning. So you've got an ending and a new beginning, and that's beautiful. So Scorpio, I am excited for you that this energy shift is happening for you right now, right? Now, with the ending, it may feel difficult. It may feel like very, like I said, dramatic, and it may feel like... It's the end of the world. It's not, you got a new beginning. It's not the end. This is the beginning of something beautiful either way, right? Because 10 is associated with endings. It's the end of a cycle, end of a phase, end of whatever is not serving your well-being anymore. It's ending. Don't resist it. Surrender and go through the process. All right, so I'm excited for your new beginning. I'm excited that you are letting what ends ending in as well, even if it's difficult for you. I'm excited for you surrendering to that process though. So as it relates to your daily guidance from your angel's oracle card, that's for your well-being in the highest form of love and light. Ooh, a little choppy. Thank you, God Most High. So I'm going to take, this is the message on the top of the deck, and I'm taking your card on the bottom of the deck. Let go, I'm sorry, let your past go. The burden of cutting your past, wait a minute, the burden of caring, ooh, it's the, it's the glare. I'm sorry. See, look at the light. Look how, anyway, the burden of 
carrying your past around has made you weary. Dear one, it's time to set this burden down. Keep only the lessons and the love and leave everything else behind. You don't want it or need it. And it's now gone. That's confirming to the ending. Would you not agree? Yeah, that's confirmation. Oh, yes. And you may be feeling a little down, right? Maybe feeling a little down. But you have a new beginning. So rejoice in that. So again, let your past go. The burden of carrying your past around has made you weary. It's exhausting. Let it go. Dear one, it's time to set your burden down. Keep only the lessons and the love and leave everything else behind. You don't want it or need it. And it's now gone. All right. That last part is like a form of release, like taking the action to release. And you finally have ask, which was on the bottom of the deck. Ask us, meaning your angels, to help you with this situation. And we will immediately go to work on your behalf. We're governed by many universal laws. And among them is the free will that allows you to make your own choices and decisions. So we patiently await your request. So in prayer, meditation, ask for what you need at this time. The assistance that you need and your angels will be there. They cannot supersede your free will. They just cannot. That's not the way this is designed. All right. So Scorpio, this is your message. I hope it has been helpful. Thank you for joining me here. I appreciate you. If you're not already subscribed, why not? Go ahead and press that subscribe button and join us here. I thank you for giving this message a thumbs up, for commenting, for sharing, and turning on your notification. And drop me a comment, I'm sorry, a purple heart in the comment section to let me know you stayed around to the very end. And if you're a private person, I respect and honor your privacy. And you don't want to leave a comment, just leave me smiley face emoji in the comment section or a bunch of them to let me know that this message did touch your heart in some way all right so thanks again for being here take good care of yourself scorpio i will talk to you soon peace and blessings to you bye for now